Dragon Ball Sparking Zero releases October 11, 2024. The trailer dropped yesterday. A massive banger when it comes to that trailer. If you did not experience that live, I feel sorry for you. Leave a like in this video. Subscribe if you're new. And this is everything you need to know about Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. First things first, everybody. We are getting DLC for this game. And I just wanted to mention the DLC first because we, we, we want to emphasize that. I, I called this. I said it. Daima is going to be a part of dlc as we speak it's going to be daima and it's going to be superhero a part of the dlc it's going to be 20 plus playable characters and this is going to be included in the deluxe edition which is our second point here it's featured in with the deluxe edition which comes with three days early access as well as the pre-order bonus which is the early unlock of uh all i think Gogeta uh, and Broly, but all their forms. And we have one extra character, which I'll get into later. With that being said, along with the additions, we also have the Collector's Edition and the Premium Collector's Edition. These two editions feature the Dorama, uh, the action figure, or Diorama, sorry, I said Dorama, Diorama uh, action figure, uh, Broly and Ultra Instinct Goku, which I think is a part of a what if story timeline that they might include in the game. You also get a steel book, the base game, metallic bookmark, double uh, sided, the pre order bonus, and you get ultimate upgrade packs now this is the point i wanted to mention after this so the digital bonus also includes includes these things called upgrade uh packs where you get this goku outfit and his power pole and i believe with that the signaling is that these characters outfits are going to change their movesets as well so not only are you going to have different characters in different forms with different movesets but you can have different characters with different moves with different forms with different costumes with different movesets does that make sense i'm not sure how they're going to tailor it but it sounds really 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 intricate, intricate and cool the ultimate edition also includes uh i think this the shenron where you can wish for shenron i believe shenron is something you can actually do and wish for uh i want i believe you can do like alternate costumes and stuff like that and yada, yada you know all the logistics when you wish for like dragon balls um i don't think there's any limit to them as well you also get exclusive three playable cards uh for the dragon ball card game fusion card game if you guys want to try that try that that game or if you guys have tried out that game Leave a comment below. Let me know if that game is actually good. I, I have it. I just haven't really dove, dove into it. But that is basically the premium and collector's editions because the premium is just a little extra. Um, but with that being said, let's get on into some more nitty gritty. Uh, we have the box art for Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. And if you compare these to the last uh, three other box arts for Budokai Tenkaichi uh, 1, 2, and 3, uh, it definitely has kept the motif on the western side especially uh, like the whole just the overall like sparking series it's kept the same motif and i like how the, all the characters are like there but what i like about sparking zero is that it's still it's it's more so like the first one like it reminds me of budokai tenkaichi and it has a little bit less characters but the impact is so vast like they used less characters but all those characters pack a punch you know so it's like uh the other three they had a lot of characters but like in the first one, all those characters are hitter, hitters. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the second one and third one, they had just a, a lot of characters that just featured most most of the DBZ uh, series. But Sparky Zero in the first one, I feel like, is like the the stamps. Like these are the heavy hitters. Like top dogs. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I want to say. Yeah, wanted to go back to some of the bonuses and stuff like that. I wanted to uh, uh, access. I kind of want to give a little tidbit here. They actually give us six characters early access if, if you pre-order the standard edition too um but i don't know it's it's kind of weird to me because it's, again it's all Gogeta and broly but it's all three of them i don't know if you count those as six characters that's my only like gripe with it but you do get one extra character unlock and i believe that character is gonna be beast I, I i don't know i think that's just solid a solid common thing i think this is just gonna be beast gohan that comes with that extra character bonus now that we've gotten all that out of the way the cover art and everything let's get on into the actual logistics of the game and what we're going to be expecting from what was told to us from that story trailer guys we are getting a creation center to create our own dragon ball battle so create play and share recreate your favorite battles throughout the dragon ball universe or dragon ball story or set up your dream story battle with your favorite characters share your creations with other fans and experience the battles brought to life by imaginations around the world 
Guys, this is innovative for the Dragon Ball series. We all know we don't really, everybody's not keen or hyped up on Cax, and everybody's not so fond of like the same old story. So they basically told us, okay, fine, fine. No Cax, but we still want to get y'all to create something cool. How about you create the story? How about we give it to y'all and let's see how what you guys can do? Because they also mentioned uh, in another uh, part of it, I think it was another tweet that. They actually, the developers will have their own stories as well for us to try. So it'll be pretty cool. Next one, I know a lot of people are super wicked hyped about this. I mean, I'm, I'm, I, it was an either or for me, but obviously, local play is confirmed. Rivals make you stronger. Challenge other players online to test your skills, or sit down with friends offline to hone your skills exclusively in the hyperbolic time ch chamber. I. I guess this is like the part that everybody had kind of had a gripe with because it's like dang it's like only in a hyperbolic time chamber and local play usually was you could you could do that anywhere um it also says fight your way to become a champion across various torment modes and victory conditions this is hinting at competitive gameplay right here I don't know if anybody's really been hinting at this side of it but we, like the competitive side is going to get brewing with this game it's giving me Dragon Ball Fighters esque type of competitive nature when it comes to they're talking about various tournament modes and victory conditions and stuff like that. So, uh, the tournament modes, I don't think they're just talking about world tournament. You know, they're talking about, you know, actually probably putting ourselves on the leaderboards and stuff like that, like how, how Street Fighter does and everything like that. Uh, the, I believe the last thing that they gave with that little. Um, breakdown was the story info and this was actually really cool to me as well guys what if stories are coming back uh this was clearly hinted at at one of the screenshots that you you see with raditz and piccolo it says literally like it says you can work with piccolo or go alone um and i believe what happens when you do go alone you actually end up with krillin coming with you because in the uh, second uh like frame it shows that little slow-mo of them going off and it's like Krillin's like, wait. And then you get Krillin under, like, about to get, you know, squabbled and crushed by uh, a great at Vegeta. And Goku comes underneath and saves him. And it's like, after that, he turns Super Saiyan. So it was like, it's like a whole, they're bringing back, again, what if storylines. And not only with the what if storylines, they're also bringing back the actual uh, story, of course. You know, what was the Dragon Ball game without actually experiencing the story? And. So with that being said, they make it known that we're not only going to be experiencing these stories from a one character point of view, but we're going to be experiencing it from eight different characters perspective. Perspective, sorry. <laughs> Conquer the action battle, uh, action packed battles from the beloved original story, or discover and unlock new encounters for your favorite Zeke fighters and more. Relive your favorite moments from the series. Through cutscenes, you can experience from perspectives of eight characters. This is huge. Guys, the depth and, and things that they're putting into this game is like, it's big. They put a lot of love into it. You can tell. Um, you can tell that there's a lot of time, effort, well thought out, intentional input with this game. Especially with the, all the additions that they threw out at, at us. Like, we're over, they haven't dropped any of this stuff. You know, we're over here sit, sitting here thinking, dang. They don't even have this stuff ready, man. They have deluxe collectors. They have DLC ready to drop soon. They have, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I want to know a few questions. Like, first of all, what source edition are y'all getting? Like, I already bought my digital standard edition just to get it out of the way. But I am definitely going to cop to the deluxe. I mean, I'm probably going to spend another 100 on it. And then I'm probably going to get another collectors as well. I don't know. It's, it's, it's Dragon Ball. It's a historic moment. But let me know what edition you guys are getting, and let me know what is your favorite feature that you've seen out of that trailer that you are ready for. Uh, I'm excited about the character, the the world or story creation to like try out different stories from other people and stuff like try to beat different levels. Like I'm ready for that. That creation aspect, that one, that one really is like the one that should sink your teeth and like, um, yep, I should get it. I should get it. Uh, one other thing I wanted to like break down in this is just to kind of call like upon like the whole aspect of like the ultra instinct and the characters like they really dropped these characters like periodically and really took their time and i feel like summer game fest was like it was a little short to me because they, they kind of had to keep it short but at the same time they they packed so much in that we were able to like grasp and like break down everything 
and process everything and it, and it gave us a release date they like they gave us what we wanted a release that was literally all i care about like i don't care about nothing i don't have to look at a v jump no more you know what i'm saying like it, it it's done like we could we could just kind of if you if you haven't bought it yet you know you save up you know when it's going to come out october 11th save your money does if don't go too crazy if you can't get the ultimate and stuff don't get it just get the standard edition you know what i'm saying i'm already locked in so that's why i'm like i'm not worried even if i don't get the ultimate or anything like that i, I already i have the game i'm not worried so like just get it out the way if you want to if you want to wait till the day of go ahead if you want to go out of a physical edition go ahead do what you need to do but we are here it's here it, the hype is real. If you guys want to check out my reaction to it, I dropped the reaction video uh, previous to one of my previous videos. I also dropped the full trailer and everything. But this was my breakdown. Everything you need to know about Dragon Ball Spark and Zero based on everything we've got so far as far as like the trailer from yesterday and just the info that was given out as far as the details in the game. Leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new. And get on some more Dragon Ball Spark and Zero content. Peace.